Hello Spiky friends and welcome to Mavi Analysis for Hedgehogs. Today we will be looking at unpacking of script malware and um, this is our sample. That's uh, also the original name of the sample. Like you, you can find it in the wild. Um, so let's take a look at it. Um, it has a WSF extension that means it's a Windows scripting file, could be JScript or uh, VB script or similar. And you just open it with Notepad or a similar editor. <coughs> okay, we see it's a VB script. And VB script is. Uh, has an. Oh. <laughs> has an instruction separator, that's the colon. So m if you want to make some sense of this, just copy it and replace the colon with a new line. You might set have to set it to extend it first. Um, replace with new line or set the highlighting to Visual Basic. So, okay, now it looks a bit better. <coughs> we have this function here, HIO, and it ends here. All right, here's another function, Q, and the last line is an execute on that uh, on the return value of the HIO function and uh, this is the argument it's a very long string so uh, what's happening here is this is a packed code and that's the well encoded code that's decoded by this HIO function and afterwards executed we have this execute command. Now we do not, uh, we don't need to analyze this here um, because all we want to do is we want to see what's inside, what's what's this code here doing when it's executed. So just replace the execute with a print command that or something similar. Oh, I find, please. Um, Please stay here. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay. Um, w script echo, and now save this, and you should be able to, instead of execute the code, you should print the code now. Genius. <laughs> um, now, um, if you double click this, it will run uh, wscript.exe like like this. Um, but that doesn't help you very much because, well, it prints everything to the to a window. We don't want that. So just use cscript instead, and it will print the output to the controller uh, like this. Yeah. Unpacked one. This looks good. Did I call it unpacked two? Why? It's one. Okay. Um, and here we have our unpacked code, and it's still not readable. Um, again, here's an execute command and in VB script it does not matter how it's how the casing is. Like this is the function keyword and it's all camel case kind of um, but that doesn't matter. It's case insensitive. It's still the same as execute on lowercase or uppercase or whatever. Um, this executes the Q and this is some Q O Q well variable. This is also some kind of mess up stuff in here. Uh, so again, we will just do the same as before and echo the output. Okay, C script. Unpacked one to unpacked two. X 
back to the end of statement where I said, ah, here, <laughs> um, it puts a header to the output. So just remove the header, then it should work. <laughs> okay, now we have unpack2. That's a bit smaller. And it has an execute global. That's also an execute kind of function. Um, it executes OET and OET is OET and this string. So what does it do? It's appending uh, some yeah characters right here, and those are based on that variable. And that again is split. That okay. So that means the context is kind is missing. We just copy it in here and sp instead of this echo we copy it in here and now if you double click on this it will highlight the variable and XUO and here you can see that the contents of XUO are um, built up this way so it consists of lots of numbers with dots in between and then it will split these on the dots and then um, yeah kind of uh, do something with the numbers to turn them into a string so we replace this with w script echo save and do the same as before it's again unpacked one to unpacked three this time so now we open this in Notepad and we have. Okay, let's copy this. We have a huge string in here and the colon. We will replace them again with the new line. Um, this looks like the Maverick code, but it's obfuscated. So, like, we have functions that make sense for Maverick code, um, like create shortcut, drive path. Uh, um, that's definitely doing some some interesting stuff in here. We just cannot read the strings that it uses because they are obfuscated by by this. Um, I have written a Python script to deobfuscate the strings and um, deobfuspy. No, it just prints it on here. Um, deobfuscated. The I will also show you the script. That's the Python script. Just reads in our file unpack 3vbs um, and for each line it will find those um, patterns of x uh, bracket and some value in it and then replace the value that's in it with um, with a, a char representation of it so and then turn it to lowercase and that way we can deobfuscate the code. It's not executable anymore because it's not really um, a perfect deobfuscation. The strings don't have any. Um, oh, it's again this way. Well, for example, you would have to put those strings into. Um, into those quotation marks, which we didn't do in this case. It's, um, but all usually all you want to do is mm, understand the malware that's inside, and it's not always necessary that you deobfuscate it perfectly so that it still runs. And in this case, I I figured it's enough uh, to do it this way. And you can see now what this malware is doing. You also see our uh, original file name here just said it it's lowercase because I turned everything lowercase. Um, yeah, 
and you can see it searches for drives and for removable drives and it creates shortcuts in those drives um, by replacing files on these with the shortcuts and the shortcuts in turn will run the Mavic code, this code here that we now deobfuscated. Um, yeah, here's the command to run it and this is also a persistence function in here that will add um, our script file to the regres registry uh, to make it out to run on every startup. So it also carries some enterprise products as you can see here. Um, and yeah, it also has some kind of vector in it uh, to receive some um, yeah commands that it can do. And yeah, that's pretty interesting. If you want to take a look at it, I will put the link into the description below so you can download it from Payload Security. Um, reversed at it. Or, and I will also put a paste event for my deobfuscation script. You feel free to modify it if you think you can make a better one. Um, yeah, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please post any questions below. Have a nice evening.